in this video we're going to go ahead and go through uh, creating reports. Um, so there's three different types of reports we can create. Uh, daily layout summary, which kind of tells you what you've done uh, throughout the day. Uh, layout deviations, which gives us uh, deviations for, from uh, where our point was designed to be versus where we staked it. And we have a field report that we can generate uh, during layout. So the daily layout summary, um, once you get into your uh, report, you need to select the date of layout. Um, only dates that you've actually laid out will be available. Um, I have the 25th here. Um, you're going to click preview. And it's going to generate the preview of the report. Uh, once that's generated, uh, our report shows when the report was created, uh, what time it was created, as well as basically the date of layout. Uh, it gives us our job, our job name. Uh, it shows us our uh, setup. Uh, so where we set the instrument up, which control points we used, uh, tells us the first point, last point, and number of points laid out, total layout time, average, uh, basically gives you all the, uh, all the data of, of all your points, and uh, at the bottom we have a list of our points that were laid out, as well as their, um, their um, uh, delta H and delta V, uh, which basically the deviation of how far they're off from our actual uh, um, design point versus where we staked it. Once you have this, uh, you just need to click the Save button, and the report will be saved to Documents, um, Triple Field Link Reports. If you want to change that location, you can click on the paper and pen icon, and you can change the location of where you want to save this to. Our next report is our, uh, is our deviation report. So we're going back to more reports and layout deviations. Um, this is a uh, CSV report. So this basically is an Excel spreadsheet that you get. Uh, and once again, this one has um, all of the deviations. So it tells us what the points are, uh, the uh, descriptions layer, the XYZ coordinate of where it should be. And then it gives us the Delta H, Delta X, Delta Y, and uh, Delta Z. Um, so basically you can tell where these points were staked and you can see how far off they are. Uh, once again, if you want to choose a different location uh, for saving the point, click on the uh, input form button and choose where you want to save it. By default, it's going to save to documents, Trimble field link reports. All you need to do is click save and it saves the report. And our last report is going to be our um, field report. And the field report is a little bit different in the sense that you fill it out. Um, so you can almost fill it out as an incident report or uh, as, as a um, issue report. So if you're in, out in the field and all of a sudden um, uh, you're laying out, um, let's say you're laying out hangers, and there's a duct run where, where you got a hanger that's supposed to go. Um, so what you can do is you can basically uh, name the report. So I'll call this uh, duct is in the way. Um, you can add some more notes to it. Um, northwest corner of building A. Um, and uh, if your total station has a camera, you can actually take photos with the uh, camera from the robot. You can also use the tablet camera by clicking the camera icon here. Um, if, if I was set up on this job site, I can also record the measurement of where that uh, basically where that was. Um, and then all you need to do is hit preview and uh, hit save to save this report. Um, and basically, since I don't have much information here, um, it, that's basically what I get. But if you were set up and you have the cameras going on, uh, you can add images to your report and basically send it send them to, uh, to the office to show them, hey, there's, there's some issues here. There's some uh, clashes going on. Uh, so that way they can either reroute their, um, their hangers or whatever it is.